Hey, this is Del Mar with RDL Trucking. Today we're talking about new authority and what to do next. Okay, you got your authority and you're trying to figure out what's next. It can be so overwhelming. I know, I've done it. It's so many things you can do to save money. You don't need the best of equipment when you first start out. Allow yourself to build your brand up. Trucking, you don't need a 2020, 25 truck. Get you something that's legal, something that's safe, something you can afford in the beginning. You don't need the best trailers when you first come out. You don't need to 10 years of newer. You need to figure out everything you need to do in the beginning when it comes to your computers, your trucking. You don't need the best laptop. Get a basic laptop. Matter of fact, if your budget doesn't allow you to get a laptop, use your cell phone. You got a smartphone. It can do the job just as well. So those things you can cut back on to save money in the beginning because you don't need the best of those things. Okay, fuel cards. Now that's a biggie too. When I first started out, I used a lot of my credit cards. The interest rates was high and I had to make these high monthly payments. But then I got with my factory company and they was able to give me fuel discounts, which was extremely important because every dollar counts. Go through your factory company, figure out what kind of cool fuel bonuses and rebates they have or whatnot, and save yourself money on the fuel. It's equally important as anything else you're doing out here. And also, while you're at your factory company, ask about the referral. You can actually get money on this. They can give you back rebates, gift cards, all kind of cool stuff. So this is another way to save a dollar. Referrals are awesome. I do it all the time. Staying safe and keeping up with regulations. DOT audit will happen within one year. So make sure your permits, logs, all your paperwork is on point when they request it. Definitely keep that together. You got your insurance and your CSA scores. They, they go hand in hand. Your CSA scores, if they start to climb up because you go into scale houses and you get pulled over because your logs aren't on point or you have a flat tire or a mud flap or anything like that, it can affect your CSA score, which affects your premium and insurance. We don't want that. We're trying to save money. We're not trying to spend anything extra. So make sure you keep all those things on point at all times so you can save money over time. Capitalizing on your sitting time. You have a pack a day. What's a pack a day, Delmar? Let me explain. Take the time out to call the brokers. Ask them, can I fill the packet out? This saves you so much time on getting loads. So people like myself who's already established can't come scoop it up because you're taking 20, 30 minutes to fill out the packet. Especially if you're a one man, one woman show. You may be on the road and you got to pull over just to fill this packet out. So make it a packet day so you can build relationships and fill out the packets quickly so you can save time and make more money. Great time while you're sitting to call brokers up, right? Cold call. This is an opportunity you can build a relationship because we have a lot of downtime waiting to get loaded, waiting to get empty. We had the fuel stop. This is a great opportunity to cold call and say, hey, I'm Delmar with RDL Trucking. And I was wondering if you guys have these particular lanes that I like. And they'll probably tell you, hold up, I know a buddy who does have those. He can transfer you over and you can work your magic. Hey, well, I'm in this area a lot and I'd love to do more loads, you know, and this is my rate that I'm doing for. So use that downtime to do some cold calling. You enjoy it. All right, you got a relationship with your broker. Awesome. You done about three or four loads? Good. Let's do some leverage on this thing here. Hey, man. We're talking to the broker now. Hey, buddy, I'm doing a great job, right? You got anything dedicated? Anything that's consistent? Something you get? Some spot every now and then? Keep me in mind. I've been on time, right? Cool. Take that. Use that leverage. This is the time to build that relationship up. You may do three or four loads with this guy, but he may get something coming down the pipeline that could be beneficial for you. So definitely use your own time, communication, your the things you're doing great about that lane or that load, use this leverage to build a great relationship for dedicated routes in the future. Dedicated is everything, y'all. The importance of networking and being transparent as possible. What I mean is when you're dealing with the brokers, if you have any holdups, uh, stuck in traffic, did uh, you got to the shipper and they're taking a long time loading you up or unloading you, that's a fine time to give them a call and over communicate. Each one of them, anything that's going on. Hey, buddy, I've been getting held up because of such and such. They love this. They love the over-communication. So when we have those down times and you feel like, oh, I'll just give them a shot when I'm done or I'll give them a shot when I get closer, you're not building the relationship that you really want. So over-communicate, talk, talk, talk. Let them know what's going on. 
and they just love it. You'll build that friendship and you'll build that bond and you'll actually get dedicated runs out of this stuff. Now you're dedicated, or maybe you're not. Be mindful that you're learning the rates and the rate per mile. Don't take cheap freight. It only hurts you in the end. And in the beginning too as well. So be mindful of all that too. Cheap freight doesn't help you or me. It hurts. What does that sound like? Am I doing RDL trucking? Uh, RDL trucking. We're here. Reliable. Dedicated. Logistics. Cause this side, right? Hold on, what's the good side? This side, right? That's the good side. Yeah. Uh, like a statue, like, hey, this is the door. That old school, they used to take the pictures back in on like, hold on, like this. Hold on, it's like this look. That one right there. <laughs>